Hey folks, Jason Steele Broker, your great Bruce and Simcoe real estate advisor. Now I'm coming to you on location from my home office right here in the Saugine Shores. And I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the market, what's going on. This is the very last Friday of 2023. Exactly, the very last Friday of 2023. And I wanted to give you a snapshot and a market update. So as of today, December 29th, once again, the last Friday of 2023, Currently in Saugeen Shores, there are 111 active listings. Now, keep in mind, many of those are new builds, but there are quite a number of uh, resale, residential resale. And the price starts at 299000 on the low side, and that is a complete four-bedroom fixer-upper that is currently holding offers on auction it is an auction type of sale and one million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine on the high side for an eight bedroom b and b type property with some commercial aspects to it there's not many new listings as most of these have seen a minimum 30 days on the market with a couple here and there two days 11 days uh, ranging to months and in some cases years on the market. Now there's 11 conditional listings in Soggy and Shores, meaning that these homes have offers on them waiting for the conditions to be removed. Could be financing, could be home inspection, but out of these 11, more than half have an escape clause. What does that mean? Well, they likely have a condition either a third party type of condition like waiting on a severance or they're waiting for the buyer to sell their own home and in this kind of market folks it's easy to bump out those kind of offers if you don't have something to sell that was unheard of in 2021 and part of 2022 where offers were coming in multiples without conditions now in the last 30 days 10 homes have sold most of which below list price with only one coming in at list which was one new build and the other just a little over list price as it was undervalued to begin with now keep in mind these stats are coming from mls and do not include private sales or builder sales who are not listed on the mls 16 homes were either suspended, canceled, or expired listings in the past 30 days. And again, keep in mind, some realtors find it a listing strategy to cancel and relist older stagnant listings. On the commercial side of real estate, there are 15 current listings um, in Saugeen Shores. 119900 for a condo commercial unit. Uh, right up to $2,750,000 for a hospitality business in Port Elgin. Commercial in Port Elgin has been relatively slow, folks, uh, for the past almost two years. I mean, at least two years. There's one conditional listing. It, too, has an escape clause. There's zero pending sales in the past 30 days and zero closed sales in the past 30 days and if you go beyond that for commercial you're going to see a lot of zeros as well there's three expired and one cancelled listing in the past 30 days and again two of which relisted as either the seller or the agent thought it might help the listing because it has nothing to do with price as you can see, the market's definitely turned into a buyer's market, folks. Keep in mind, prices have come down and interest rates have held. If interest rates drop, you know what's going to happen with prices. They go up due to demand. So when's the right time to purchase? Well, I'd say if you need a home, now is the right time to purchase. If you want a home, hang on just a little bit and here's why a perfect example so a home currently listed at five hundred thirty thousand in a buyer's market you negotiate uh, with a very good agent that's great at negotiating and you get that home at five hundred thousand 
So you uh, you get it accepted. You go to the mortgage uh, mortgage broker at rateshop.ca and you get a mortgage for 5.2% five-year fixed at a 25-year amortization. Your payments are 2960-ish and uh, that doesn't include property tax. Now, if you decide to wait and see if the rates drop, here's what could happen. So three months goes by, voila, rates come down a few basis points to 4.5. You find a similar home, but the prices in the neighborhood have jumped due to demand. We're now into spring and with the prices down, more buyers are out causing competition. Fortunately, you've got a great realtor and you win the bidding war and you paid 550 on a house that was priced at 530. Now your payments for the 4.5 amortized uh, for the same five year fixed 25 year are $3,039. That's a difference of $79 a month. There's a lot you can do with $79 a month. Now having said that, when you are paying more interest on a lower price home, like a higher interest rate, the amount going towards principal and interest changes, right? So you're paying a little bit more in, print, in interest, a little bit less in principal. As that interest rate comes down, you're paying more to principal, less to interest as compared to the higher rate, which allows you to pay the principal off quicker. So as I said, when is the best time to purchase a home? When you need it, folks. Not when you want it. When you need it. So if you need a home now, reach out. I'd be happy to help. If you want a home now, we'll put you on the list to send you listings and you can see how the market fluctuates and know when the time is right for you. But in the meantime, give me a call. Um, we'll get you pre-approved for a mortgage with rateshop.ca. Uh, I'll set you up with my daughter who is now a mortgage agent for the rate shop and uh, we will get you guaranteed rates. Thanks so much, folks. Jason Steele Broker. Have a wonderful new year. This is the last 101 video of this year, but stay tuned. Coming in January, there will be more. So don't forget, click the subscribe button down below. It could be on this side and always get messed up with these, uh, with these videos. But subscribe and you will thrive. Have a great day, folks. Jason Steele Broker. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.